super nice people in there. Uh, we, they were all talking about how much the population of Greenville has gotten bigger over the last, what, he was saying five to ten years, especially the last five years, and that's right when we moved here. Um, we came from Arizona, if you don't know. That's where I was living for about 18 years before. We got door 17, and we're two and a half hours early, so it's awesome. Uh, yeah, we moved out here, but like that little shopping center that we go to a lot, Dunkin' Donuts, if you've been watching the channel, across from that used to be a big farm when we first moved. Moved there and they just started breaking ground on it. Now it's a Publix uh, supermarket, another one of those tipsy tacos, uh, chilies, all these different places. Uh, Hobby Lobby. But they still named it like the name of the farm. I forgot what it was. But Anyways, we got the second part of our load, door 17. We'll get back into there. And uh, then we'll get down to Florida. That's pretty cool. I like that they're, but yeah, they were talking about, they were all from Southern California like me. I grew up in Anaheim until I was about 11, like 91, 92. And then I moved to, uh, I think my trail a little bit more straight. My trail is that way. I need to be that way. So pull up more. Um, then I moved to the San Francisco area, East Bay for high school and junior high. And then I went to college in Arizona. That's a problem in Arizona. But uh, I loved Arizona, it was good. Loved living in Phoenix, that's where T-Dubs and I, my wife lived for our two first children being born. And then we said, hey, we need the help. This has been uh, cheaper house prices looking out to South Carolina, but it's not like that anymore. <laughs> now that our house has doubled in price, it's crazy. Everyone else is trying to move here. People across the street that moved in, they uh, were from Oregon, I wanna say, Oregon or Washington State, so people are moving in all around. Anyways, let's get to 17. I'll tell you what, we hit door 17 and within five minutes, we're already green lights. So. Let's get our paperwork. That was, that was super, uh, I was super quick. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Thank you, man. How many pounds were that, was that one? 10. That was 10, that's a small load. Okay. okay, so only 10 pallets for that. That super light load. It said it was going to be 32,000 pounds, and I doubt that because I'm about to pull out and see how much stuff came in on this one. Yeah, five minutes to load, and he loaded over half the trailer, so we're a little over three quarters with the seven pallets that were in the front. That is crazy. I love that when someone loads that quickly and just efficiently. And it's uh, a couple of different products, too. It's over the counter medicines and vitamins, so. That is awesome. I think we're just gonna head down, start getting towards Florida now. We're already packed up, we're ready to go. I am hungry, so we're gonna get some food somewhere. But that was a blessing, so. You get 40 Tiger Street, I think it was. Duncan, South Carolina. Hopefully that guy's working and you're loaded as quick as I was. Now let's get down to Florida. Well, I decided before I hit Florida, why not uh, go see the boys? It's only a six hour drive, so. Uh, Came back 385 side and gonna walk over. They're gonna be out of school in about 20 minutes. Hopefully I can be there when they get off the bus, get some food with them, and then uh, get back on the road, get through Columbia, <sighs> Savannah, and all those great cities. Hold on, then we'll cross over from Jacksonville and get to Alachua, Alachua, Alachua. I don't know if they sold some of the land or what they're doing but this is right in front of our house and there's another one down those the street a little bit that day because this is all farmland it uh not really farm he's got a couple cows maybe he doesn't uh cultivate anything so but they ripped down an old house that was right there maybe they'll sell that property to somebody else who knows get another qt or something over here but they're also clearing one out over down the way a little bit and they're also building brand new houses that they kind of stopped building the houses for a while, I don't know why. Maybe a new contract or something, but they're building them again now. So they so actually got some sold. But yeah, all this land, our um, parks, there's one big house back there. And you can see a couple cows right there. Um, I don't think they're gonna sell that, but it's nice to have that little big opening of land with some cows. And then we got the power company and the big giant tower they put up uh, a year and a half ago. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess our cell, cell service got better. But yeah, I hope he never sells because I like having the little farm over there. But let's get back to these kids and catch the bus, hopefully. And look who it is. T Dubs is already here. I thought you got a load. I'm loaded. Well, I drove back by the house. I like your outfit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
What's up, crazy? I don't want to get you. Talking to her or talking to me? Kindergarten first. Uh, kindergarten first grade. What's up, dude? How was Monday? High five, man. Hi. Hi, dude. I said hi. Was Monday fun? Hi. Hi. Where is Kason? Did you not sit with Kason? Oh, he's over there at the dog. <laughs> was school look cool, though? Good Monday? Nothing crazy? Why would you do that? Uh, no. Case, what's up, dude? Okay. Yeah. Hey, we go to the pool today. You want to get some food? Oh, the pool? He wants to go to the pool, Mom. Yeah, I don't. I think that's what we're going to do. Oh, cool. I haven't even been home. I've been downtown. Nice. And then I'm what are you doing? Oh, oh, yeah, you're doing some taxes for cars? Yeah. yeah. Taxes for cars. See you later. What All right. Oh, oh, it slipped down. Oh, there you go. All right. Oh, yeah, it's Got a little something in the mail that I think I need. Yes, let's open this. Yes, it's exactly what I needed. 6 a.m. to 8 a.m., both mail. Uh, if you guys don't know, Cash, Kaysen, and Kylan have a YouTube channel of their own called 3BB. This will let us finish our fuel system once we go back to the lake house. So, might do that Labor Day weekend. There's nothing else in there. You can have this envelope if you'd like. Well, what kind of schoolwork do we got here? We got socks. Oh, my goodness. I remember paste. I used to try to eat it. Did you eat paste? No. I didn't either. And uh, we got some of these from the store. Ooh. Did I mean, I mean, you have to write three, three words that start with K and you chose case and case. kind and Kyle? There you go. Well, 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 well I was supposed to write K things and that's why I chose because I knew case and starts with, with a K. K. Good job. And then, and then I was looking around and then, and then I was like, wait. Ah! Kyle. Kyle's 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 Yummy, dude. You all done? Okay. Yeah, so this came. Also, I have another one that is just 8 a.m. to 8 a.m. that I need. I have my single wire connector for the um, alternator, which I need. Because really, all you need for the alternator... Sorry, this is car talk, guys, for a second. Um, I found this on YouTube, of course, but we need some of these resistors. Just one of them. An 870 half watt uh, soldered into the line, or you can just get it in line, smash it into a connector, but soldering is probably the best. And um, that's all you need to have your alternator charging. So you could buy one uh, one uh, wire alternator, which is like $400, $350, or you can just use that one wire. So it has four, four plugs, but all you really need is that one position, and then you just need to have 12 volt power with key on, so. Cool, so we get some food and I'll get back on the road. Uh, I'm gonna put these trash cans back real quick and then uh, we'll get some food. I guess the boys want Waffle House of all things. I thought they wanted Burger King, but they said Waffle House. And then uh, I'll get back on the road in that truck. It is a hot one, for sure. Hey, yeah, baby. Jason did what, you shoe? He's not oh, he's not playing you? Oh, man. Yeah. Good job, baby. Come on. Stay in the back. It is a pretty day. It is hot out. There we go. Let's take one Cummins and drop us off another Cummins. <laughs> well, enjoyed uh, Waffle House with you guys. It was fun. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, what? What's that? Uh, uh, Oh yeah. I love you. Back in the car seat. See you guys. All right, that one's gone. Let's fire this one up. There we go. Okay. Let's fuel this thing up a QT and get down to Florida. So that 1.9 fuel stop back there that was cheaper than QT a couple weeks ago, it's 4.79 right now. But we will see what the QT is.
pretty clouds and we got a little shower um, back there. Just a quick one. Like about a minute of a little bit of light rain. Not much. I guess we just went universal 479. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Because it was 430 last week. 431 and then 429. We'll have to do some research on that. I don't know if we had a discount uh, tax exemption for a while or what, but that's crazy. Cool clouds out here though. There's a menacing one there. Keep an eye on that one. That one's always a little bit warmer than the rest. Not too bad, but we are loaded, so. Okay, so we already pumped 700, so 881. Uh, I don't know what happened with the, when it went from 430 to 480, but hey, I guess we're trying to be all uniformed across the board, so now. 1.9 and all those are on the same 479 plan. I don't know, but I like it going down to 430, but one more reason to ask for as much as you can in your rate when fuel is 480 a gallon. Um, is it both Yeah. 880 What the heck? What happened with fuel prices? With like 430 to 480? Like just last week, huh? Yeah, Did they just call you guys and say, hey, everyone be 480? They kept going down, 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 and then bam, right back to 480. <laughs> it's like, man. I don't know why you would. Uh, her, her inside tires are all muddy, so she's been spinning out, but it was a girl in that truck. I don't know why she pulled in the middle like that. Who knows? Decent beach for that, though. We're just cruising here on 26, about to get on uh, 95. Those clouds are pretty, uh, pretty cool. Gray, white, light blue sky. Keep going straight for about two more hours, hour and a half, and then you're at uh, Charleston. But we're gonna veer down to Savannah. Savannah, Georgia. Probably get in tonight, it's about 10.30, and reset the clock and be ready for tomorrow at noon. And then hopefully, they're, this Dollar General, I don't know about the two loads on one trailer. I don't think it should take too much longer. Maybe it will, though. If they have to break anything down or do anything like that, I'm sure there'll be a lumber fee, but I don't know. Um, a lumber fee, if you're new to trucking or new to the channel, you pay them to, I know it just sounds ridiculous, but you pay them to unload your truck. <laughs> you don't pay for it, the broker does, but. 
but it's uh, yeah, it's a whole different. Look for some other videos in, called bumper fees. So you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. But right now, focus on getting down there safely. We've got 217 miles on the good old 95, so let's get down there and welcome to Florida a little bit. That looks like the end of the uh, light clouds. Looks like we got a storm we're going right into on the ride over here. So maybe get a lot of rain. Uh, give the truck another rain wash and uh, clean everything off of it. But fast and exit 77. I have not stopped there in a while. I would be surprised to see what their fuel is. But their sign's so small you can't really see it from the, the road. So there's a pile on the other side, but they're always kind of compared to the rest of the guys who overprice the heck out of fuel and then give you a card to make you feel good about it. But uh, I guess QT is joining that rank right now. I don't know. They jumped from 429 to 479. Let's see what this one says up here. That's one of the only truck stops that there's a Taco Bell at around here. But yeah, we're going to come into some clouds. But I was broke down there once with my starter not working for about half a day and finally got it place my alternator right there and the uh, at the start of work it didn't turn my truck off till I got home <laughs> all right 509 man 509 for the for the flying J and I cannot see their diesel price I wish they would have a bigger sign but yeah you can't see it yeah, tiny yeah they remodeled it recently it's a nice little Taco Bell exit 77 and there's only three pumps in the backside and they're a little bit rough great condition but hey they're there but i wanted to share that little storm cloud with you because it looks like it's gonna make a pretty sunset to the right but straight ahead uh all hands on deck for captain jack sparrow we got a blazing of a storm coming we just passed the savannah airport looks like a subaru got pulled over there going too fast in the construction zone or something i don't know we're going through savannah making good time Someone else got pulled over here. Or maybe they're no explorer pulled over explorer. There you go. Explore on explore crime. Go through this little. I feel like this bridge with these side to side um, detour or whatever. The loop de loop, not the loop de loop. The loop de loop, whatever you want to call it. I feel like it's been like this for two years. Like, I don't know what they're doing with this bridge, but it it goes left, to right, left. I don't know if that's just going to be permanent or, <laughs> or what they're doing, but it's been this way forever. It was worse in the beginning, but it's a little bit less now, but it's still, uh, still uh, someone's, someone's uh, merged, complaining about merging. The hammer lane and trucking is the fast lane, the left lane. I don't know what they're talking about. I guess they're just mad about the merge. But yeah, yeah maybe that bridge will be fixed at some point, but it seems like you always go left, right, left. It was worse before. You had to kind of slow down, but it's almost done. They're getting it done. Infrastructure. That's the uh, one thing about autonomous vehicles I think is going to be a, a big hurdle is a lot of infrastructure changing like that. Updates and they can be on top of it and kind of test run it. Then it'll help a lot, but uh, it's not always just lines painted right on the road or sensors of the GPS. That stuff can go down, so who knows? But that looks like it's going to be the way of the future. But how long in the future will it come? And I think they launched a rocket today to go to the moon. So I was excited. I was like, hey, we're actually going to put some people on the moon because it's kind of whatever. The, we haven't ever gone back, that kind of thing. And the last time we went, the coordinates over the formula was written on a bajillion paper piece of paper but we can do it then but we can't do it now so but it is unfortunately unmanned i don't know if they're gonna have like a rover kind of thing like they have on mars or what they're gonna do but i thought they already had that on the moon but it would be really cool to see like the original place because there's no wind or the, the, the original foot and kind of stuff they would be out there still so that'd be kind of cool if they had a drone or something like that. And one thing I didn't realize till about six months ago, kind of thought of it when I looked up at the moon every night, whenever I was a full moon or I could see it, you always had the same pattern. It just always looked the same. That's because the moon doesn't rotate. We're always seeing the same side of it. 
So it always faces us in the same direction, which is kind of crazy when you think about how we're spinning on an off axis. We're spinning around another sphere and it's hot and then we're going around that. So it makes it kind of weird that it does not <laughs> show the backside of it. I don't know, conspiracy theory, whatever you want to call it. But uh, I'd like to see the backside of the moon too. Maybe get like a little light on there because it, it's dark, you know? And then also, unless there's an eclipse, of course, the backside's going to be all lit up. So that'd be kind of cool to be on the backside for an eclipse. I don't know. But also, there, one more thing that's mysterious about the moon is they shot back their thrusters, I believe, towards it. Uh, I don't know if that was another Apollo mission or what it was. But they put seismographic like uh, readings on the moon and then got the recordings in and it was hollow. <laughs> like a big bell noise. Like, uh, the moon is definitely mysterious. I'd like to know more about it, and I'm glad we're flying to it so we can get some more uh, answers, I guess. Who knows? All that stuff's kind of beyond my pay grade. I just drive a truck, the good old gravity earth, which I believe is round, for the record. The bypass, oh, something got pulled over right there. It's a bypass, but that might be because that car's there. I don't know. But this is the last way station before we get into Florida. So we're getting close. I want to stop at Brunswick. Refresh. And we got bypassed on the last uh, way station also. Okay. Cruising 79 degrees. A little warm out there still. Very humid. Watch out there, buddy. Stay in your lane. There you go. Okay. So I gotta say, that was kind of weird. Um, there was two police officers back there and there was a guy in the middle of the road. And they had like one car was facing uh, the opposite direction the other police officer. And that was one of them, that guy right there. And I got over like everybody else and went right past him. And then five, 10 seconds later, I had him coming up behind me. I said, okay. And then he stayed behind me. I was like, okay. <laughs> My blinker on blink day to get over and right as I put my blinker on, he flew around me, I'm like, okay. And then he went and pulled that guy over, so it must have been just looking for that container guy or something, maybe he didn't get over. I don't know, I wasn't that far ahead, but I was ready to, uh, to do another little roadside inspection, but <laughs> you always kinda don't wanna deal with it, you know, you're like, ah, I don't really wanna get pulled over, I don't wanna, you wonder if something happened in your truck or if something, you have a flat tire by chance or whatever, but that's not usually the case, it's always fine, but you're always kind of a little worried, you know? <laughs> so he got right behind, I was like, all right, well, I did get way over for you, just like the other truck did. We were, uh, cause they really do, I don't know if it's law in Georgia, I know it's law in some states, but they can come, we give you a big old ticket if you don't get over. And they were on the shoulder, so. All right, that was a little, uh, little blood pressure hike, but we were good. It's like, okay, we're getting pulled over. But that was, he went right around me and went to the container. All right, well, we're almost at Jacksonville. We'll probably stop at exit one. And, uh, yeah, it's always kind of populated right here uh, in the beginning of Georgia. From Georgia, probably the first 30 miles of Florida state line into Georgia. Uh, like right, right over there on the other side of the freeway. There's another. Just uh, checking on everything, making sure everything's good. And there goes another officer right there in the, in the hammer lane. Just keeping on her toes, which is good, but yeah. Glad I didn't have to pull the paperwork out again and uh, pull over the side road. And there might be something going on. If you came up um, or down 95, let me know if there was a bunch more uh, patrol cars behind that container. It was a short container because there's been three other uh, officers that one of the, that guy went past me, turned around and went back the other way. And then two more, one just jumped on right here when I was exiting on the opposite way, going back that way. So. They're all shooting back down, maybe getting off and going back to hell that guy. I don't know. Uh, pilot's nice and quiet right now. Let our oil cool off and uh, pull on through. Why are you backing up? There's a... Uh, oh, okay, he's backing into a spot. Never mind. He's just going off his way on the fuel island. <laughs> Oh yeah, come on, find the gear, there we go. TWT. Backing it up, back it up, Terry. All right, let's refresh. We 
only got about 100 miles left. I think it was a big wreck, but they're definitely uh, coming an old thing off. Way station was closed. I think they're just doing some uh, cleanup. Oh, it was a work truck that got rear-ended. Okay, Florida, we are in ya. We're gonna take the Stark, I think it's the 301, it's an exit right here, 373. It's like 15 minutes faster, and it's trying to take me a little, kind of through the woods wet route. I'm just gonna go all the way down to Stark and then cut over. And we'll be there early in the morning. We'll be reset about three hours even before we have to deliver, so. Dollar General doesn't let you come early, so we'll go an hour early and they'll take us then. Good morning. Still two hours till we can check in, so we're just hanging out of here, but I can't sleep. At a, noon is not where I sleep into usually. <laughs> so we'll get the truck warmed up and um, you can check in, so we'll check in over there. Some pretty clouds up there. You can't see them through the sunroof, but I can. Uh, you can check in and I'll, like I'm in a little parking lot over here and there's another one over there past the gate, so at least let them know we're here and uh, maybe they'll get us in early. Who knows? Turn off our green APU and start the truck. Man, that green APU is great. And I can see a lot of love bugs out there flying around. Oh yeah. About two hours till we check in. It's too bad it says PM. I gotta change that. There was plenty of parking when we got here last night, which was awesome. And while the Schneider Trader trailer takes off, we're gonna get dressed and go ahead and check out just truckin.shop if you're in need of any clothes, you want a new shirt. Got some awesome black tees with this design and a couple other designs. Uh, Appreciate the support, and that's what I'm wearing today. Okay, we're dressed, and uh, Just Trucking Dot Shop also has all kinds of different hats also. Red, white, black, whites, black, red, black, camo, all kinds of stuff. So it's what I rep and what I wear most of the time, and I'm very grateful for Kaz Gear up there for giving me some awesome products to deal with. And they do some really good job, job shipping too, and if you're an influencer or looking for a clothing line, give them a call. Great guys, Brian out there will take care of you. Right now, let's go ahead and pull in to the next parking lot. While we try to avoid a bunch of uh, love bugs. Thanks for the comments, guys, about, um, I didn't know their intestines were acidic. I guess their bloodstream is, what do you do? Turn around right there, okay. There you go. Coming out, going back through, check. I guess they might have parked there last night and now they're going in to check in, I don't know. I don't know if that guy knew me or what, but he just took a picture of the truck. What's going on, man? Dedicated fleet lane only is the left lane, so we'll stay behind this guy who just did a nice U-turn. A nice Dodge Ram over there. Got the red calipers and everything. Okay, and he's pulling up, so we will do the same. And we have two bill of ladings this time, and there is a number, I remember, that was on the app that says appointment number. So write that down before you go up there, grab your ID, and we're gonna go ahead and see if they're in a good mood this morning. Good morning. Uh, there's two different bill of ladings. I have uh, like a less than truckload, so I have one place and another place in the same truck. And then the very bottom left, I put that appointment number. Okay, thank you. 
So now we park right here. We just got the call and we are door 60. He said door 60. I said, cool. Let's go. All right. So it took him about an hour to call me. And um, it's an hour before, about 45 minutes, an hour before. The, there's uh, love bugs everywhere. <laughs> it's the time of year. But yeah, it took him about an hour. It's 11 o'clock now, and we're supposed to be uh, 12 o'clock appointment, so at least we're an hour early. And we'll go through these crazy instructions. This is a different way of lumber payment I've never seen. They don't want you to ever get out of your truck here, so uh, they want you to call and do it all over the phone. And it gives you like break times and stuff. We'll go down, we'll go over it. But first, let's get into this door. <laughs> underneath the trailer um would have been a lot harder if i was in the position to my right because if that truck was here and i had to get into that one it would have been a lot harder to clear his nose but luckily we had a trailer with no truck truck under it and uh had that little gap to get into but it was it was tight <laughs> so now let's go ahead and pay our uh lumper payment we have i don't know if that's c chain or d chain or what that is but it's pretty funny check this out i wouldn't say so much funny as kind of I guess, I don't know, weird. They don't give you the full phone number. You're missing a digit on the uh, unloading service side. Then they have a bunch of breaks. So you gotta, I guess you have to know which shift they are, Monday through Thursday, no. Uh, morning, to, I don't know what that is. The fifth, second, fifth, fourth, I don't know. And then they give you the instructions on what to do. Back up to your signed dock door and then place the bills in the back of your trailer. Seems like it might be the other way around, but hey. We're gonna figure it out. So let's give them a call and I don't know how they're gonna know who we are, but we're gonna figure that out. Okay. 
The guy's truck next to me sounds like a airliner crashing until the air purges out of the compressor. Like governor valve. Ready? I thought something was wrong with my truck. And it goes away. It starts again. He purges about every minute and a half, two minutes, so um, needs to get that fixed. But this place, I was just on the phone for five minutes, and then they told me I could have the callback feature where they'll call me back when someone's available. So I said, sure. Um, it says you're successfully checked into your door. Please. Okay. I don't know. I, did. I just got texted by Dollar General. So we'll see. But uh, then on top of this, I'm going to have to figure out the amount they need me to pay. Then I have to go into JB Hunt, if you look right here on the right, and talk to them and figure out my express code. Then call this place back, most likely. So <laughs> this is something I really wish they would take care of this between themselves, the broker and the... And the uh, and, okay, now I got another text message from uh, Dollar General. They're probably telling me to do what I'm doing right now. So I can't read the whole thing. It's, it's got dot, dot, dot after it. But anyways, yeah, this is it's kind of crazy. At least the other places are getting easier with it. We're like Uber Freight just gives you an express code. I type it in like that was a minute process the last time I did this. This is a whole new, new uh, ball game here with don't call during breaks. Like, okay. All right. Well, we'll see uh, what, how this ends up. Okay, so Dollar General might have just went on the naughty list for this whole, whole shebang. Um, so they texted, they texted me this. This is what they texted me when I was talking to you guys about this. Um, why hand out this and tell you to call that phone number when they text you this? Um, and then they say, if you don't hit okay, you lose your uh, ability for um, attention. So <laughs> they better have your phone on you. But nobody told you that at the front. So I hit okay. And they said, okay, proceed to door 60. I'm already in door 60. I'm already in, uh, detached and ready to get unloaded. My paperwork's already in the back. Uh, both my seals are sitting with my paperwork. Um, and then they text me this to go ahead and have to download the app. Um, then I have to, if I don't want to download the app, I can just go to the website. So I go to the website because I don't need an app. I'm never going to use. Um, go to the website, and it tells me I have to sign up for a new account and enter all my information. <laughs> like, okay, so I didn't do any of that. I'm just going to wait for them to, because then at the, at the end it says this, that they're going to go ahead and uh, let me know what the charges are, so I can't even do anything. I can't even do anything with JB Hunt or get an express code until I know that dollar amount. you got to have to know how much they're charging you, and this is a um, less than truck load, so it's two, lo two loads, so it's probably going to take me even longer, so... Yeah, Dollar General, I don't know if they can get on that system that that place used in South Carolina, but they just texted me, said, enter your express code, and you're done. Here's your pay, here's the, here's the amount you're going to be owing, so. Yeah, dropping the ball, it's called, uh, I think it was called Universal Chain, U-Chain, that's a U, and uh, Freightsmith, no, Freightsmith on the, on the boo list for, for truckers. Don't make me download an app, or don't make me have to sign up for and log into a whole account. Especially if I'm a one-truck operation, I probably won't be coming here again for at least a couple months, maybe six months. Um, yeah. Make it easier on the truckers, please. We've got enough to deal with. Yeah. All right. That's my two cents. It says something about um, that, that we don't move them by the lumber. Okay, so it's taken care of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. I was worried, man. It's like a whole ordeal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other guy had <laughs> He's like, what are we doing? <laughs> All right, so I'm done? Yes, Thanks a lot, man. Have a good one. Okay, then after all that, I was just dozing off in the back and he said, hey, you're good. So, he said the stuff, everyone was asking that all the time, so why give us that paper and whatever. Maybe some have lumpers, some don't, but the dries don't, the uh, refrigerator does. I don't know, I'm proud and happy that we don't have to deal with it. Let's hook back up, get out of here. Don't need it. They have trailers all through the middle of these aisles, like just a lot of uh, drop and hook trailers that are not being used right now. That's just another sign of the economy right now. Not a lot of stuff is moving, I don't think. Um, it's going to be hard to make this turn right here with that grass. As you can see, a lot of other people took it out. A couple bobtails, and is that a box truck or an ambulance coming? I don't know. But yeah, that's where all the dry vans went when the economy was good. Uh, I think all the megas bought them up. You just need this one? No, Alright, cool. Thank you. He said both the stop sign. I thought you just had to look inside. Yeah, what's the, what's the door number? Door number 60.
What's the carrier number, charger number? Uh, 316. Thanks, man. I think you could have asked me that stuff when I drove by. I don't know. <laughs> Doria, what's your track number? You could have asked him that when I was driving right past you. Yeah, but get out of here, love bugs. Men are everywhere. So, gotta close our doors. Leave your doors open for them because they want to check what's back there. I gotta go up here, stay out of the way, close them up, and then uh, head towards Savannah. But I looked on the Atlanta side, 75, and not as much as there are there is over on the ports. So, back towards Savannah. There was that same Greenville. Right here to uh, where Savannah to Greenville load the Red Bull, but it picked up at one o'clock and it's about 1.30 right now. So I missed that one. But we'll see if they load it up with a different appointment time or what they do. And I think we are gonna go ahead and submit this paperwork to our factoring company and look for a load, try and get towards Jacksonville and we'll look for loads up there. It's never really something good down here. I will look, but um, not really anything that great. There was a couple C.H. Robinsons earlier, but they uh, were off the board pretty quickly. So they took my strap off, just left it on the ground. That's fine with me. I'll put it back up there and, man, that's some nice marks. Those marks were there and those marks were that last Red Bull load too. Just digging into that wood. But God bless you guys. Check out Just Trucking Shop, and I will see you on the next one.